Well, this was a bit unexpected. I borrowed a friend's electric battery operated mower yesterday. Thanks, Gary. And it was my first time to ever use an electric mower. And frankly, looking downstairs how far I've always had to carry a big heavy lawn mower with an engine. I've thought for a while about getting an electric mower. I was that impressed with how light this was. I did something today I wasn't expecting. And that was to spontaneously, I haven't even had a chance to shave, buy this Ozito battery operated mower. Now if you've seen any other of my Ozito reviews and unboxings, you'll know the benefit is one battery fits all. In this case we have a 4 amp battery which will last longer than the 2.5 amp batteries that came with the other gear. By the way, if you've seen my recent videos, you'll know YouTube no longer monetizes my videos for reasons they won't specifically tell me. So I'm not making a cent from any of my videos anymore. So if you do feel like helping out, if this has given you any benefit or any of my videos have, there's links down below the videos where you click more and you'll see how to do that if you want to buy me a cup of coffee or something. Anyway, back to the mower. Well, this is what the box looks like. You can pause it and have a read if you want. So let's unbox this puppy. Then we'll put it together. Let's see what's inside. Oh. Well, we have some pretty packaging. <laughs> And we have a cover. Yeah, some of the reviews I've seen have been hit and miss because of the assembly. There's the catcher, which is a big complaint apparently. I don't normally use them. More packaging. So, a little manual. Some bits. Yet another fast charger. Seen a few of those in my Hosito videos. And a battery. A 4 amp one this time. A handle. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Right. Careful now. Oh, it's not very heavy. That's the mower, we'll look at that in a sec. Some cable, be careful not to snag that because it's connected to this handle. Which is steel by the way. So that's good, I was worried it'd be plastic. And some bars which make up the length of the handle. So that's how your Rosito battery operated mower comes. There's the single bar blade underneath so I guess we'll put this all together and try it out well, I guess we'll start by undoing this packet no tools involved at all with this assembly as far as I can tell uh, some cable ties, obviously for tying the cable onto the handle later. Put them aside and lose them. No doubt. Okay. Well, let's take this out first. And we'll see how we go. Okay, so there's a handle. Diagrams, we'll put them in a the box. 
some knurled nuts. Funny name for a nut knurl. Okay, so... Just we undo this nut all the way on both sides. Because maybe I should have read the instructions first. More of those guys. Carefully you don't lose your nuts down the crack. Right. On there without pushing the thread apart there. Okay. Yeah, so maybe do this where there's not cracks in the floor of the deck. Yeah, no, do it. Okay, not too tight, you don't want to strip it. No. Mm. Okay, useful pen. Do the same to the other side. Why is there three? <sighs> Possibly I should have read the book. Yeah, I think there's something missing. Sure you don't drop your nuts. Well, this side's easier. made in China, they don't line up ever properly. Should get there. Now this is a part I read in reviews it was difficult, not that I use a catcher, but we'll see how we go.
got to give it a bang. Something wrong with the bang. They weren't wrong, it was a bit of a fiddle. But anyway, that's the catcher. I'll put the handle on. That way. Here's the charger. Just like in the other videos. And the battery, 4 amp battery, instead of 2.5 amp. Which means it'll last a bit longer between going flat. Doesn't mean it's any more powerful. One thing people might leave negative feedback without realizing is they don't charge the battery fully before they use it. Well. There's a comparison, that's the 2.5 amp battery that we had for other things and this is the 4 amp that comes with the mower. I've fully charged it, so let's install it. So imagine, take off this paper, like that. There we go. To install the battery, lift the cover, line up the little slots there, under there, which is a little bit awkward, press the red button, and click it firmly home. And to remove the battery, lift that, press the red button, and slide it out. Now here's the first part of the negatives for this mower, <laughs> that probably a lot of people don't realise, that leave reviews to adjust the height, unlike every other mower out there, it doesn't have a lever. You literally, for all four wheels, have to, you have three positions, you have to grab this bar quite strongly and shift it up and down, which is not easy even for me. I can't see it as well. So currently I moved it to the middle position. So you see, hopefully, oh, that's not easy. See? Let's try if it's a bit easier if you push the wheel. Okay, so to lower it to the bottom position in this example, you have to pull it up. And that's not easy, look. It's really not easy. Really stupid. Anyway, you have to do that. Likewise to go up again. So, oh, this is not easy. Oh, it's ridiculous actually. 
So you have to do that for the back as well. Now clearly, if you're uh, elderly or not much wrist strength for whatever reason, this is going to be a major problem. And frankly, it's an absolute shit design. So on this aspect, I would give the design of the Azito a one out of five stars. Absolutely stupid idea. And don't make the mistake either of thinking this is a toy because it really looks like one. That, that blade is, oh, resource. that blade is sharp. And it does spin at 3000 revolutions per minute. So it will severely damage your feet if you run over it which is probably why they have the safety switch on all electric mowers even though they don't have them on petrol mowers which is a bit strange I like this switch they all have them you have to press that down in this case it's a little inconvenient but there we have it they all have them another downside is there's no support cross support or cross bracing on the handle of the Azito meaning it's quite flimsy. I can't see it lasting for many, many years without a warranty claim. On the plus side of that, I suppose, is you do get five years. A good example, by the way, if you're hearing noises of people mowing grass and using weed eaters, the benefit of electric, of course, is they're nowhere near that loud. On the downside, as I have mentioned before, all electric tools are inherently weaker than a petrol version but that's life it's a trade-off just a quick noise comparison too I'm not here to promote any brand I'm not sponsored feel free to reach out to me if you're a sponsor because I'm happy to do that now I'm not getting paid a cent from YouTube but whilst it's here quick noise comparison between this electric mower which is a Ryobi and the Ozito so I put this sound recorder in between. I think you'll hear, if you can tell, the Azito is slightly louder, but judge for yourself. Microphone's pointing at both. So here's the Ryobi. And here's the Azito. You be the judge. Don't do as I say, do as I do. You could always wear the Aussie safety boots. So this really does look like a bit of a toy, but let's do a test mow in the middle position of three. how you do that. Now let's try it on the very lowest setting. That's the lowest setting and that's as low as you're going to get. Now I did just cut the grass the other day. It's up to you what sort of lawn you have. Well, it all boiled down to the cutting above the uh, build quality in my mind. And as you've just seen, it's rubbish. Well, I've had to revise my outro because after I recorded the ending, I realized that the adjustments are the wrong way around you want the axles to go higher in order for the base plate to go lower in other words give you a lower cut so I just tried that and as you can see there is a difference so it really does boil down to you at the moment I'm undecided whether we'll take it back for a refund and get a different sort of mower electric mower it boils down to you to me it's an awful lot of effort real effort to change all four axles every time you want to change heights 
whereas every other mower on the market except maybe that XU1 or whatever it's a simple lever of some sort so okay I still give the Azito mower a one star for quality of build because that's ridiculous and very flimsy but however it may work for you the benefit of the electric mowers I mean this one being narrower even than the one I showed you is it can squeeze through tighter places which in my case is a benefit because down near the pool there's a narrow gap that we have to get through so up to you I mean it does give a reasonable cut but just ask yourself are you going to need to change heights often because if you're okay with one height then it's probably fine once you find one of the three settings that work up to you anyway thanks for watching check out my other Ozito review videos and I'll see you next time. Cheers.